What's going on, everybody? Man, Eric Wilson, National Scouting Combine. Days are getting closer. People are getting ready to sign up. It's getting to be a great, great experience for all these young athletes to really compete and get the chance to showcase who they are and be seen by scouts to potentially elevate them to the next level. Uh, this young man who I'm bringing on had the pleasure of speaking with him, met him at the combine, of course, uh, running back. And, you know, typically at the combine, we get a couple of running backs who come through, um, you know, and, and it's great that I have a chance to talk to him right now, because as what we've seen recently with the position of the running back in the NFL, it's like, you know, those young men who have grown up and that's the that's the, that's their spot. They are either a north, south, or an east, west kind of guy, but that position is one that needs to be elevated. And I'm just going to say it as a guy who, even though I am not a fan of the Giants, I am a Saquon Barkley fan. Running backs need to be paid. Okay, let's just put it out there. All right, I I, I don't understand it. No disrespect to kickers or anybody else, but how are running back the caliber of some of these young men that I've seen at the combine and playing in other leagues are not getting the money they are earned? or well-deserved is a problem. That's just my opinion. But anyhow, this young man, like I said, running back from Howard Payne University, Mr. Billy Reagans Jr. is joining me. Afternoon, sir. What's going on? How are you? Good afternoon. It's a pleasure to be here. So, uh, man, you are a very, very busy man. I appreciate your time. But uh, just talk to me about what's been going on with you since the Combine and how the Combine has kind of just helped you elevate yourself to that next level. Yes, sir. Uh, coming to the Combine... I had uh, basically a little knowledge on uh, majority of draft stuff and going there, I learned way more than what I need to learn. I It opened my eyes a lot and it also got me to where I am today. So, you know, uh, having that opportunity to go to next level by coming there has uh, been a big blessing for me. And not only that, just being able to get my name out there and be able to have my name along the rankings as long as, as those other guys coming from a small school as well. And just it was a big blessing it was great really a learning it was a good learning outside of football that's that's and it was more of preparing us for everything that was happening but also preparing us as men and in life in general as long as well with that so I, it was a big blessing and i'm very grateful and i i hope everybody else understand that y'all mean business and y'all do what y'all gotta do so so yes, talk to me about what has been going on since the combine. Like, where have you gone? What have you done currently? Where are you at? Uh, yes, sir. Currently, uh, after the combine, I signed with the Southwest Kansas Storm, the arena team and the CIF. Um, I went on to a finish top five in all purpose yards, top five in rushing. Um, not only that, uh, really, I surprised myself with a little goal of mine. My goal was to get past like 800 yards all purpose. I ended with 975. So um, that was a big blessing on that. But being able to come this far, be a pro and learning everything I learned from the combine and all the way up to here, it was a big blessing to really just be a pro football player, you know, like just be a pro. And I, I'm um, right now, I'm in a situation to where I do have some USFL and XFL things going on right now. So big, big blessings on the way. Um, you know, very grateful and blessed. Going to keep working. Anything and, I, I know sometimes we can't speak on it, but anything that you can share with us with regards to the USFL or the XFL? Um, As of right now, just know that. There, there's definitely a good good chance you're going to see me on the field on one of those okay. teams. All right. So. Fair enough. So, yeah, man, I mean, listen, coming from, like you said, a, a smaller school, Howard Payne University. And again, like I like I said, to start off here today, the whole running back situation, man, have you ever considered maybe transitioning to another position on the offense or even the defense? Or are you just hard pressed on remaining that running back? and really just elevating that position and yourself? Um, I'm definitely remaining hard at the running back due to the fact that right now, of course, I understand the game has changed over the years. It has, uh, me personally, it has become a passing game, but people also tend to fail to realize back in the day when you had your Barry Sanders, your Earl Campbells, your Eric Dickerson's, when you can't pass the ball and, you know, you got to run through some of these defenses, they're going to put eight or nine in a box and tell you to man up and play football. You're going to need to pay them running backs. That's all I'm going to say. Them third and twos, 
third and ones, fourth and ones. It beat them down in gritty games that you can't get. And, and, and we all say football is a game of inches. It is. And, and when it comes down to it, I'm not going to lie, you definitely want your running back happy. And you want him to run through that wall for you and get you that first down and get all them inches of everything that the defense going to give you. So Exactly. And, and I love how you put it because that is that old school ground and pound, smash mouth. We're going to run it up the gut, find a way to break through. And, and, and men like yourself are being able to do that. So I, I'm very excited to see what happens for you at the next level. I'm excited to see where you wind up as far as being on the field. Um, and as always, as I'm telling everybody who I speak to, you know, you experienced the National Scouting Combine. You came yes. through, you got tested, you got your results, and now you have moved forward. So anytime you want to come back and speak to the next set of young men who come through and let them know, hey, there are other opportunities, but this one's going to give you the most and put you in the best situation to be the most prepared when you are ready to go on to that next step, man. Always love to you, man. Thank you so much, yes, Mr. Sir. Reagans Jr. Appreciate you. I look forward. I'm 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 excited now. I want to know where you gonna wind up. I'm chomping at the bit right now. But um Yes, sir. Uh can I say one thing before we please. get off? Uh to every young athlete that's coming up into this next draft and everybody that will see this, just understand that the National Scouting Combine staff, Mr. Wilson here. Everybody included, that is a great organization, great family over there, and they will help you in any way possible. Rather, you need to learn stuff, polish your skills, business world, anything that you really need to know about going pro, and not only that, just being a long-term factor in life, giving you great life skills this is a great place to be, and I'm very blessed and grateful once again to have met every single one of y'all and i'm grateful and blessed to have been on this show today and continue to talk to you so i really do appreciate you and i can't wait to tell you the news so you know <laughs> well you gonna come back and tell us what's going on man as soon as it happens man you already got the number let me know so we can because i want i want to know and i want to make sure that we all you know are, 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 are behind you as you elevate not just because of who you are as a person, not just because you came through the combine, but because, you know, you are the next generation, that future talent that all these young men out here need to see that, you know, it's a journey. It's a process. Yes, but sir. there are organizations such as the National Scouting Combine who are there to give you those tools and those resources so that you can be successful. So, man, Billy Reagans Jr. out of Howard Pan University, he said USFL, XFL news is, is down the pike. We're going to have him back on to make sure we get it done. But your man, Eric Wilson, for the National Scouting Combine and the sports arena, everybody stay blessed. I'm going to talk to you all really soon. Peace.